When the AV Club travels, we always make time to visit pop culture landmarks. If something memorable happened in the world of film, TV, books, or music, we want to go there. We're not just tourists, we're pop pilgrims. If you feel a little disturbed when you look at this classic Texas home turned into a restaurant, well, there's a reason for that. This is the house where Texas Chainsaw Massacre was filmed. The house was originally in Round Rock, Texas, and then in 1998, it was cut up into little pieces and shipped here to Kingsland, Texas. And now the location that once served humans as meat serves meat for lunch and for dinner. <laughs> Tim here is an expert on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We are currently in Leatherface's house. Yes, we are. You think this is a party? What was it like in that room? Just about anything you could think of to make this a bad shoot was in full play. You have hot lights. There is no ventilation because, you know, as the sun is going by outside, it had to all still be at night. So they had to close off the windows. Uh, there was no AC. You had dishes that had, you know, real head cheese, sausage. You, you had a rotting chicken head. And as pe people got sick from the heat and whatnot, then you have people who are actually throwing up outside. No need to torture the poor girl. And then over here, we call the chicken room or the bone room. There's a curtain here and, and Pam stumbles through it. Over here, we had a giant bench that was that was made out of bones. That that sat over here. This is where you first see Leatherface. Uh, Pam Pam comes stumbling in and sees him down at that door. Bob Burns put in a fake door, kind of like a slaughterhouse door when they would bring in cattle and, and slaughter them and then sh shut the door. And uh, now we're at the top of the staircase where. Sally came running up the stairs and dives out this window trying to escape Leatherface. Have you eaten the food here? Yes, it's delicious. Is it delicious? I'm a vegetarian, so I, I, oh, the irony won't be quite as thick for me if I get a You're in the wrong place. We get emails, you know, why I don't know how you can work in a place or run a place where so many people die. And we had to reply back, nobody died here in the house. It's just, it's just a movie. How do you think such a low-budget movie got to be so popular? People make the greatest work, works of art when, when they're hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. <laughs> you know, if there's no complacency, but yet they're out, out to get a job done and they have all, cl close to zero resources, they have a, a vision, they, they work as a team to get that done. And that comes across because you, you literally see the blood, sweat, and tears in that film. 